Hey everyone, this is my first video on YouTube, which also going to be an apology video. Yep, my first video on YouTube is an apology, and that's because I wanted to apologize for taking such a long break before releasing content about my experience in court at the Johnny Depp trial. I had a family vacation already planned before I spent six weeks in Virginia, and my professional life had kind of taken a back seat as well to the trial, so that wasn't really good. Not gonna lie either, this situation was pretty stressful for me, and I think I needed a break afterwards. I spent six weeks at the courthouse, which was incredibly hard to do uh, all day there, and then figuring out a place online uh, at night to get in the next day. And it was constantly filled with anxiety and, and, you know, stress, so it was a lot to take on. And although this was an experience where I had the opportunity to meet some really cool people and connect with thousands of you online, I'm a fairly private person, and the amount of public attention that I got from this case was just something that was a little triggering for me in ways that I didn't really think about beforehand, so that was hard as well. Again, this is my first YouTube video, so I want to apologize in advance for all the cringe issues and editing and audio. I'm not a YouTuber by any means. I didn't uh, start going to the trial to be on YouTube, and I'm kind of just winging it at this point, so please let me know if you have any advice. Um, I can be quite critical of myself. That's kind of why I've been hesitant to even release any content because if it's not like top tier, I have a hard time even putting it out and that's kind of been an issue for me. So I think going forward, I'm just gonna do it and then see what happens, but I'm always open to hearing advice and I'm gonna do my best to uh, do better when I can. Part of the reason I felt it was so necessary to go to this trial was because the public discourse I saw around it was just really intriguing and I think it represented a greater issue we see going across this country. Um, the corporate media has such a different narrative sometimes than to what people online or people on the ground are saying and sometimes it's because they need to cover their own mistakes in false reporting and I think this is one of those times where the Washington Post reported on something that was slander and the other corporate media stations ran with it. It was a story that was interesting at the time and they were quick to throw a beloved actor under the bus, as I said. So I think that that interested me because I'm someone who's interested in news stories specifically when there's such a difference of narratives. And this was just one of those cases where I knew that there was an underlying problem with what the corporate media was saying. and. I wanted to go see for myself, and I think that's why it interested a lot of you online, why it interested a lot of online journalists and YouTube personalities um, in particular uh, who latched onto it. So I think this is going forward as a win for, you know, the people, but as we see in the corporate media, they are still going along with this narrative that it's kind of like abuse on Amber, and I think that it's gonna take a long time for them basically to, to learn how to, how to report accurately. So for my first video, I wanted to go over some common questions I get both on Twitter and TikTok and in person about my experience at trial. In the future, I'll be making more videos about this and I'll be doing live streams as well. So if this trial interested you, please let me know, ask me questions and I'll do my best to address them. And then let me know what other trials or public events you are interested in hearing about because I, don't really know what to do going forward, but if people want me, you know, covering things or going places and talking about them because they're not seeing it in the corporate media or online, please feel free to reach out. One of the questions I get most is which jurors like Johnny Depp, and that was kind of hard because they weren't very expressive during Johnny Depp's time. I mean, some of them would laugh, things like that, but it was more so during Amber's testimony and some of the testimony of the witnesses that we saw more expressions. As I've said, and I'm sure you all have seen online, Juror 9 did not like Amber. Juror 8 also was not a fan. She kind of liked Johnny Depp. We saw Juror 1 and Juror 2. I mean, just, it's hard to explain, but a lot of them, different moments, you could just tell that their attitude shifted when they felt like Amber might have been making something up versus an actual fact that happened. Who was my favorite juror? I've talked about this before. Juror 9 was really cool. He was the man that sat all the way closest to the witness stand. Another question I get because I sat next to Whitney is what was Whitney like? She was fairly nice, although she was very guarded. She obviously didn't want to be there. She was kind of nervous, but they moved her out of the section that I was in uh, after she 
basically sat with everyone and then clearly didn't like it so then she moved forward to the where the lawyer sat and everything the last day she was quite miserable she did not like the verdict of course they came in there relatively optimistic i think for some whatever reason but that quickly faded and, and she was quite upset with what was going on uh, and that was very visible uh, they just left out of there but she was there to offer support to Amber, so she would be constantly looking at, at her sister during times. What was Johnny Depp like in person is another question that I get quite often. And obviously I never met him or anything like that. He was nice to the courtroom. I mean, he would wave. He was always very friendly with the officers and, or not officers, deputies, sorry. But he was also very friendly with just the staff in general. And you, you could see it through his actions in the videos and, and the different paparazzi photos, but obviously he knew his fans were there, so he was very nice to them, would wave uh, and things like that, especially when people would get up and wave at him and all sorts of things. It was, it was interesting to be there for that. Why did I go to trial? Basically, I went to trial to find out what was going on. I wanted to see what was happening with the jury uh, because no one was reporting about what the jurors were like and what they were basically doing during the testimonies, although there was a lot of speculation. Also, I had seen some speculation about what the jury's demographics were, demographics were, and I wanted to see for myself as well, and basically, you know, disseminate that information. People have asked if I needed a press pass to get in. I don't know if that's probably been answered many times, but no, uh, you could not get in for whatever reason unless you were standing online waiting. So that was a huge reason why people would wait hundreds on a line all night, 12 hours longer. Um, which was a mess. And people have also asked because of that, did I sleep in front of the courthouse? I didn't really sleep there. I would go and I would spend many hours figuring out, you know, what the situation was, how the line system was gonna work, you know, talking to people, things like that, interviewing people. And then I would leave my stuff there, go back, shower, get ready and collect notes and stuff. Cause I still had to write notes from, from what I was doing beforehand. So I would go back and then usually bring coffee or donuts the next day for the people around me in line. Because some people did wait there. I mean, if you were driving from another state and you necessarily didn't have anyone to stay with or the money, or you weren't doing this for a specific reason, but you just wanted to see Johnny Depp, I mean, people were there, you know, sleeping all night. So I wanted to uh, be nice to the people around me as well. And then a question I'm getting now, what is going to happen with Amber? Well, clearly the judge is not having any of Amber's BS. Amber can try to appeal, but there's no basis for this. The court was extremely careful and diligent when it came to the entire process. Uh, yes, this was a public trial, but the idea that the jury cared enough to be swayed by the fanfare is just not true. And the idea that any of the witnesses were swayed by what was going on or the big public attention is also not true. A lot of them came forward themselves, Morgan, Tremaine, Kate Moss, who both saw what Amber said live and knew that the truth contradicted her own statement and came forward to Johnny's team and basically themselves said, I want to testify. Uh, Kate Moss didn't want to testify beforehand. She even refused in previous cases. So the idea that now she came forward was because of, of witness tampering is just completely ludicrous. I've had this discussion with friends of mine as well who try to say, oh, well, Johnny Depp is powerful and you know, and all these people work for him. Well, that's just not true. A lot of them did not work for him. A lot of them would have not been swayed by all the public attention and even the jury. The jury was not swayed by what was going on around the courthouse. These are people in a city that is very politically centered. If they do care about celebrities, it's not in the way that most people think, and it's not going to be in the way that they would actually make a decision as a as a member of a jury based on who they liked as a celebrity these aren't the type of people that would do that and if you know as i said i sat in court every day watching them and they were thoughtful at times when both wit um, both sides witnesses would testify they were thoughtful when johnny and amber testified i mean they are just human and i think that they were taking their job very seriously and some of them were young and maybe someone like myself, like I like Johnny Depp, but I'm not gonna be that obsessed with Johnny Depp that I care enough to make a decision whether or not he's guilty or not guilty because of how much I like him as an actor. And I think a lot of the other jurors were like that as well. And they weren't gonna be swayed by maybe other jurors who did you know, wanna make a decision based on that because you had enough of them 
who balance each other out. And I think the idea that any jury, like any one of the jury members really came to their decision because of what was going on outside of the courtroom is just Amber pulling at straws here because we know that's not the case. And I mean, we know that it's not really gonna go forward because the judge isn't really having any of it. So we'll see, but I don't think anything is happening. With that being said, I want to thank everyone for supporting me. I really owe it to you all to release uh, as much information I can about my experience at the Johnny Depp trial. If it wasn't for everyone supporting me, both online and then, you know, the ones who helped donate financially, I wouldn't have been able to stay in trial for as long as I did and then report to everyone else. So, I, I again, I want to thank everyone. It means a lot to me. And going forward, it means a lot to have people that still have reached out to me and offer support, whether it was curious where I was or wondering when I'm going to be on YouTube or release videos or tweet. So it, just so you know, it really does, even though I may not respond all the time because I'm still trying to get the hang of this, it does mean a lot and I appreciate it, so thank you. As I said, I feel like I owe it to everyone to continue to talk about what I experienced there and to answer any questions that y'all have, either about this or anything else going forward, uh, and I'm happy to do so.